So guys, Judo Highlights here, and we're going to look at Greg Lashvili, who had a, a stellar day at the World Championships, silver medalist, but to be honest, I think his, uh, his Judo content was much better than Cassie's throughout the day, just constantly attacking some really great Epons, and uh, he's so young, he's only 21, so I definitely think he's a world champion in the making. I thought uh, Lee would give him some trouble, but no. Uh, Greg Lashvili just showing that he is world class and can take out anyone. Nice Wazadi here. I want to say it was a Sasai, but it was kind of like a sacrifice throw. So what's that, Yoko, Yoko Gake or something? I don't know. But Greg Lashvili, look, he's always looking for Nawaza, he's always looking to attack. And I definitely think the signs of a champion are someone who, whenever they grip, they look dangerous. And he always looks dangerous whenever they grip. I'm trying to look for some Nawaza here, and he's just manhandling Lee. Manhandling him all over the mat. Maybe Lee's a bit small. For this division, I'm not sure. But Griglas really getting it easy to Wazadis here. And moving on into the next round against Pakik from Sweden. So some of the footage from the IJF it's a bit laggy, so I just went through and got this footage direct from YouTube. Thank you, IGF. You guys are great. And Packet complaining about something here, but I'm not sure what it is. But Grigash Philly gets a lovely Ippon Seoinage. Could have been Ippon, if you ask me, but they call it a Wazari. And then uh, this match just goes to the end of the time. And he's into round four. This time against the, the Greek fighter. And this match is really quick. So beautiful Ippon. Agriga Ashvili. Left us right. Looks for the hip throw. But to be honest, I think he was just attacking at the edge of the mat to avoid getting a shido. But here it is here. A beautiful foot sweep and then turns it into a hip throw. Looks to roll him over into the Nawaza. So he's really good at stringing things together. I think it's what people should do. Cassie, who won, is also good at uh, doing the same thing. But Greg Lashvili is kind of more standing focused. Drops down Ippon Teone, stands up, goes again. Beautiful Ippon there into the quarterfinal now against Chochi from Belgium. And uh, this Ippon from Greg Lashvili is probably my top Ippon from the tournament. Uh, we still have three more days of action, but I don't know if it will get better than this. This is this is right up my alley. This is the kind of judo I like. And he's really good at getting people to the ground with foot sweeps. He doesn't need to throw them. He's just breaking their balance constantly. A true master of the game. And he can do so many things. Look at this. Looking for an Osoto. Looking for Uranage. Look at this. Foot sweep, breaks the grip, another foot sweep, hand around the belt. Kosoto Gake. Doesn't get better than that. And in the semi final, maybe it did get better for Greg Lashvili because this was a really quick dismantling of DeWitt. So breaking the grip off now. He's got a strong grip on it. Ashiwaza loses the grip, unfortunately. But he can go the other side. Tai Otoshi, maybe a Seiwe Otoshi, but come on, so good. So he's into the finals now, and uh, this audio I took from my Cassie video, so if you've already watched that one, you've probably already heard it. But anyway guys, uh, enjoy! So the final now, Cassie against Grigalash Billy. And Grigalash Billy, I 
definitely think he took it to Cassie in this one. Up until Golden Score, it was pretty much all Greg Lashvili. Going in for big hip throws here. And a Tomoe Nage, which Greg Lashvili likes to use as well, but Cassie defends well. And Cassie goes for a Sumigaiji here. But uh, Greg Lashvili trying to say, hey, uh, he just dropped down. Big hand over the back, and Grigalash really does really well here to just kind of elevate Cassie onto his hip, but Cassie defends with the elbow in, so that should be a Shido. And it is. And Grigalash is really coming forward, strong, and he tries that hip technique again. Surigoshi, I guess. Nice little replay here. It's an amazing technique, this one. How they do it, I do not know. And big arm on the tricep now. Cassie goes in for Seoenage, but I think he was just pushed out to the edge of the mat, to be honest. Goes for a, a Taiwatoshi, but nothing really happening, but this is good. He stands up, deep hand on the tricep, so a nice Tomoenagi attempt. But Cassie defends well. Cassie's really good at defending, really good at getting out of things. And now we're into golden score. And Grigalashvili almost gets the, the foot sweep counter there with the Kochi. Breaks the grip off, arm over the top. And Cassie's got two hands on him now. Defends well. And this is it guys, this is the end, the, the final moment that decides the world champion at 81. And Greg Lashvili, he, he makes a crucial mistake here, thinks he's going for a counter, but uh, in actuality it uh, was not a counter. Sorry, it's just after this one here. So I think in any circumstance you just shouldn't land on your back whether you're going for a counter or not. And Cassie knows this, he's like a cat, always lands on his feet. So Grigalashvili over the top, Cassie goes in and then Grigalashvili says he's going for a counter but no, Cassie, that was all Cassie, he started the movement, his pawn, and he's now our world champion. Alright guys, so like and subscribe, and I'll see you guys for more action on day 5.